You know, there's a secret in your birthday to courage, and courage leads to love. Are you ready to find out the truth? I have the answer. You too can find the truth if you dare. All that and more at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, Your Honor. Welcome to Friday. It's finally Friday. Sunny, chatty, and pensive today for the judge and juries of the Zodiac. The moon has progressed now to Sagittarius. So emotions and intellect are side by side. Librans are processing. How you feel, how you think, how you think about how you feel. This is an excellent time to get things off your chest. To see a practitioner like Julie Zipper or Skip Jennings or a psychic at SG Elite. Excellent time to see your therapist. Excellent time to talk to your BFF. Excellent time for you to blog, Diana Ring, our Libra blogger. So get it off your chest and share. And by the way, tomorrow is Love Fest Day, and our bloggers, including Diana, will be posting some Love Fest energies tomorrow on the mothership. Zipping in the sun, it's actually about decisions today. I think that's where all that intellectual activity is based. Time to decide. Decide what your heart doesn't want. That's what we're going to do here in Chapter 1 of Sun and Aquarius what Libra's hearts don't want. Now, sometimes we talk ourselves into wanting it all. But if we really dive deep into our heart, do you really want it? Does it really make you happy? Or is it the idea of it that makes you happy? Or is it your parents want you to want that? So today is a day of decision of what our heart doesn't want. You know, I don't have to have a white wedding. You know, I don't have to have a big carnival at this area of my life. There are things my heart really wants and there are things my heart doesn't want so much. And if you decide what your heart doesn't want or decide what behavior is in the way of what your heart wants, I don't want this marriage because he's blocking all the fun. I don't want this job because I can never express my heart. By deciding what you don't want, you clear the space for what you do. And that's really the transition of the weekend. Then tomorrow, it's Love Fest Day. The moon is crossing over Venus. Going to give everyone a big booster shot of Venus creation love vibration. Saturday is going to be a rainbow day with lots of shamrocks dropping out of the stars. And for you, it is a time to express your love. In fact, for Librans, you really do want to this month tell everyone you love that you love them. For you, I think, once you cut away from what you don't love, allowing yourself to focus on what you do, I think your mind is going to clear a lot. I think you're very much confused in a Libra way, processing way too much information, admitting too much into the court trial of your decisions. And I think by deciding what you don't want, you're going to feel really free and mentally uh, liberated. So go for the flow. And it's Friday. We've got Astro Gossip Live today with DJ David Palmer and myself. We're going to talk this week the headlines, the celebrities, the presidential uh, State of the Union address, and everything else we can come up with that the stars have to say. We are live and wise everywhere Soul Garden streams. All right, Your Honor, that wraps up Friday. On Monday, let's get focused on what you do want and love. Until then, live, love, be. Soul Garden.